What's up guys? Welcome back to Scum. Now as you can see, um, I went to the trader and I sold a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I sold all of the medicine that we got, or not all of it, but a lot of the medicine that we got from the hospital and holy crap that stuff is valuable. One backpack worth. Got me ten grand. Uh, holy hell. But anyway, I sold that. I sold some guns. I sold some tools and whatnot. And I got us some armor for the Rager. And some extra storage. I also got the extra storage for the dirt bike. So we're going to put that on at some point. But anyway, while we're out here, I figure we would stop and check this bunker up here. Since I now know how valuable medicine stuff is, I would really like to check out the medical wing of this place, in addition to just the armories. But also, I got us a new toy. Uh, while I was at the trader, we got an airdrop, and in it was a bunch of ammo and stuff for the Mosin, or the 1891 rifle. Uh, but we don't have the rifle, so I bought us one. Uh, if you look at my hotbar, you can also see that there was a katana in that airdrop, so we have a katana to play with. But, what I want to do here for this bunker is, I think, we're going to try and get up onto this hill above the bunker a little bit. And I want to use this Mosin to try and take out as many of the outside puppets as we can before going in. And just kind of play around with that a little bit. So anyway, we're going to head up there. We're going to try to get up there kind of sneaky-like so that we don't just draw the puppets to the truck. So we're going to take kind of a wide berth around here. If we can, these rocks look kind of treacherous. I really don't want to flip the truck. But also for the Rager armor, you can tell I got the heavy armor. I'm honestly not sure if I like the heavy armor or not, you know, over the light armor. I will say that armor in general definitely affects the handling of the vehicles, or it sure seems to anyway. But the Rager is not a vehicle that handles well from the get-go. And so now with the heavy armor, it handles even worse than it did before. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, we'll see if we keep the heavy armor. Uh, this is an awkward spot to park, but that's okay. It gives us a good line of sight, so we're going to try it. Oh, yeah, and then we jump out on top of the vehicle, apparently. Can I not get in from right here? Oh, Awesome. Okay, well, this may have been a bit of a mistake. But anyways... No, not the katana. Also, you can see uh, the Goatman hat is gone for the moment. It's not gone permanently. Oh, right, I took the scope and whatnot off. There we go, now we can see things. Now, we do have a suppressor on here right now. We may take that off and see how it attracts them, or if it attracts them at all, from this distance. But, first things first, let's, let's take a few of them. If we can. Uh, what even is the range on you guys? Two hundred. Okie dokie. Uh, there we go. Actually, let's go ahead and go prone. That'll help. <sighs> Might help if I actually loaded the gun, huh?
Hey there, maybe now it'll actually fire, huh? Hmm. Damn it, just range the damn thing. Thank you. And it got dark. There we go. Ah, I missed. Missed again. Ah, come on, you. Okay, well, obviously it doesn't attract them when you're using a suppressor. Let's try taking the suppressor off. Also, I apologize if you can hear things near the mic right now. My nose keeps itching horribly for some reason. So if you hear any kind of scratchy noises... ...or whatever, that's due to that. I, I keep scratching my nose. Because it feels like something keeps tickling my nose, and I don't know what it, it feels like there's a hair tickling my nose. Holy crap, that's loud! Does not seem to draw attention, though. So where did the rest of them go? Because there were some down here. Where did they go? Anyway, uh, I think we're going to put this back on, because damn, that's loud. There we go. Let's go ahead and top this off. So I hear a goat. We don't need another goat right now. I'm a little disappointed. There there were more puppets out here. I really wanted to play around with this Mosin a bit more. But I don't see any more puppets out here to, to test it on. I know there were some, but where did they wander off to? I don't know. Anywho, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Shut up, goat. Uh, let's see, can I get into the truck at all? No. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, well, give me just a minute to get the stupid truck into a position where I can actually do something. Damn it. No, don't roll the. Ah, why? And there goes the truck. Shit. It hit a tree. And it's still going. Can I get in now? Why can I not get in the truck? <sighs> Jesus, what the hell? Damn it. Great, and now the truck is just stuck against a freaking tree. <sighs> Damn it. God. 
Can you... Oh, it's just one there. Jesus. It's just been one of those days. Actually, it's been... The last couple of days have been about like that. Um, speaking of that, I apologize for not posting a video yesterday. Um, our plumbing has been backed up. And so I've been working on that. It's fun times. But anyway, you guys don't care about that. Hey, there's a puppet up there. But, um, something I wanted to talk about real quick before we get too far into here. Um, as far as new series go, um, I'm looking at the next series on the channel to either be uh, State of Decay 2, or Days Gone. So if you guys have a preference between those two, let me know. And then... Um, oh, for the next season of Scum here, I'm thinking about doing a little bit more hardcore season in terms of settings and whatnot. I'm, I'm looking at doing probably low loot, like maybe half loot. Right now we're at 2x on the loot settings. I'm I'm looking at maybe turn that down to half. What the hell there's there's nothing in here. That's Hmm. I've never seen there be nothing in here. But anyway, do maybe like half loot and do like tougher puppets. Still keep the same puppet numbers but have them do more damage. What do we have for ammo unpacked for this? Okay, we still got another five rounds unpacked. Okay. But that would make it to where... You know, right now we have... We're finding so much loot that it's it's kind of like oh i mean we can just literally sell everything keep whatever the hell we want sell whatever the hell we want it 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 really doesn't matter at all whereas if we do it as a, a much lower loot setting i'm not sure if i can get out of the car there and tougher puppets that would make it to where Stealth is much more of a priority. Right now, yes, it's it's good to try to be stealthy, but the reality is with as much ammo as we have, uh, I really don't need to be super stealthy. And so, I, I kind of want to change that up a little bit, maybe. For the next season. And so... that uh, That's kind of what I'm looking at doing. Let me know if you guys like that idea. Or if you don't want the hardcore...
Or if there's other settings that you guys would like to see, let me know. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and equip this because we're cold. Hmm, I'll take that as well. The stun grenades, I don't remember them being overly valuable, but we'll take them. Oh, the small screwdriver that I just saw on that guy reminded me that the larger screwdrivers sell for a crap ton of money. Like, one large screwdriver in, you know, at 100% condition and full uses goes for just under $2,000. Uh, holy hell, that's a lot. Hello? Anybody in here? Yeah? Damn it. I hate that you can't shoot through the gaps in the stairs. What kind of garbage is that? Actually, leave that open so that I know which one I came through. Whoop. So I took the red dot off the pistol just to try that out a little bit. I don't know if I like it yet or not. Damn it. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you... <sighs> Good grief, that was a lot of wasted bullets. Holy crap. <sighs> Where did the... Damn it, stop putting the magazine in the wrong spot. You rat bastard. Okay, now... I think we're going to go hit the medical wing first. Because we've hit the armory last time. And I kind of skipped over the medical wing... Uh, da, 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 that one. Thank you. Now, I don't remember exactly how to get... To, okay, not that, obviously. Now, I know that, like, one of these goes to the kill box. I don't remember what the other one goes to. Oh. Screw you, Mr. Happy. Are you in the depository there? No. Are you, like, in the stairwell? I'm not sure where you are, Mr. Happy. Oh, good. You have a friend, though. That's always wonderful. I'm not sure why I'm searching this. Ooh, because I wanted that. That's exactly why I was searching there. Yeah, God, I missed the scarf. <sighs> what 
is that? Meat snack. You know what? How are we doing over here? Uh, you know what we could do with some protein. And actually some calories in general. Also, I got my vitamin E back up. Corn flakes. Like one handful of corn flakes takes your vitamin E from deficient all the way back up to full, basically. Holy crap. Okay, there we go. Spicy meat snack. Like I said, I don't really know why I'm searching this place. Or this, you know, the depository. Okay, then. Well, hopefully Mr. Happy doesn't... jump out of a room and blow us to hell. He's in the hallway over there, I guess. What the hell? God, what in the hell is that stupid screen that keeps popping up? That thing has nearly gotten me killed I don't know how many times now. Oh, crap. You're right there, Mr. Happy. Could you maybe not be right there? Could, could you be a little further away? Okay, did we... We did not get injured at all. Well... That was very lucky. Hey, bullets. I'll take bullets. I think what I'm going to start doing with bullets is we'll still take most of them. And I'm just going to keep the regular bullets for myself. And armor piercing and tracer ammo is going to get sold. That's kind of the decision that I've made. At least... For most ammo. For ammo that's kind of hard to find, and eh, we might still stick with, uh, you know, keep whatever we find of that. Let's see. I don't remember how well the hunters sell, but we'll take one. Oh, okay, here we go. We got some medical stuff. Fantastic. Anybody in these? Hello? No, nobody? Excellent. Can I have medication, please? That's absolutely not medication. That's also absolutely not medication. What the hell? None of this is medication. You rat bastards. But, yeah, the, um, both the painkillers and the antibiotics sell for, like, $600 a piece for, like, a blister pack. Not sure why there's canned tuna here, but I'll take it. Ooh, batteries, I'll take those. But, uh... Like, the vitamins and, surprisingly, the potassium iodide don't really sell for much. They're, they're not really worth picking up. I mean, they're worth picking up, but they, just, they don't sell for nearly as much. Sure, we'll take the vitamin. Wait a minute, what was that? Oh, why is, why is there a tracksuit top in here? I, 
I know this is not where I'm gonna find the best medical stuff. Yay, more vitamins. After I just got done saying how vitamins are crap. I mean, they're not crap, but they're not good either. Maybe I need to <laughs> run some armor piercing. <laughs> Just keep certain magazines loaded for armor piercing. Just for coming into these bunkers. Where's the mag? There's the magazine. Oh, we actually don't have as much 9mm left on us as I thought. Not if we're having to, to do three rounds for each puppet. Jeez. That's terrible. But that's also part of why I wanted to run this, because this will do some more damage. It's just not as good in close quarters, but it'll still suffice. Really don't need. Ooh, wait a minute. Those are those are a hundred percenters, though. I might I might put those on. You don't have anything good on you, do you? I highly doubt it. And you got some really crappy shotgun shells, which don't really matter because malfunctions don't occur currently. Okay, good. I've actually found the medical wing. Yay! Ooh, a shillelagh. Okay. Nobody else here. Goody. Or at least not in this hallway. Ooh. I really... We have multiple axes right now. We have multiple lighters, too. And they're not as valuable as I thought they were. I I remembered them being much more valuable than that. Eh, you've got some good stuff in ya. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know that I've ever found you. Ah, you know, sure, whatever. The canteen, screw you, canteen, you useless pile of garbage. I will take a drink from you, though. Yeah, we could use some water. There we go. Stuff is getting topped up except for carbs and fiber and, you know, most things. Whatever. It's fine. You go away. I don't like you. I don't know why the canteens degrade so quickly, but that seems like a load of garbage. But that's okay. I don't know if it's worth searching all of this stuff. Because this is probably going to be just kind of more generic stuff, right? Or it could be nothing. It, it could always be nothing. Ooh, broadhead metal arrow. I will take that. Because we're running low on our carbon broadhead arrows. So we're going to have to switch it up to the metal ones here soon. None of that is what I'm looking for. Why so many bobby pins? Actually, crap. I didn't even think about that. Uh, what do we even have on us for lockpicking stuff? Mm, we've got those for lock. No, okay, I do have a box of bobby pins. Tell you what. That one has more. There we go. 
I really wish that you could combine bobby pin boxes to where you can, you know, basically just fill up your bobby pin box again. That would be nice. Hey, stuff in the... It's vitamins, of course it's vitamins. Ooh, burn gel. I don't know how valuable that is, but we'll take it. I don't care about paper. I thought the cigars sold for more, but I got like less than 200 bucks for it, which was surprising. I, I really thought that they sold for more than that. But that's okay. It is what it is. Hey, there we go. There's money right there. Just this little blaster will be several hundred dollars. Whoop. Hi. Hey, there we go. That's more like it. Uh, I'm going to leave that open. Just so I remember that I searched that. <sighs> vitamins. You're, you're not what I want, vitamins. I want painkillers and antibiotics. Painkillers and antibiotics are extremely valuable. I don't remember about the activated charcoal. I can't remember if, the, if that's valuable. Or not. I did close this door, right? Yes, okay. We don't need more batteries. I'm not even using the batteries. <gasps> Antibiotics. Yay. There's probably $600 right there. A j Holy crap. There's a jar full of painkillers. Ho, 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 ho. There's a big old pile of money. I mean, a big old pile of money. That's nice. I I feel bad about not doing anything with the painkiller or with any of the medicines before, really. But I didn't know. Okay, this is the kill box down here, right? Yeah, that looks like the kill box. Okay. Ooh, whole box of 22s. I don't really run the 22s, but we'll take them. Now, I could do a run with 22s. Um, how are my boots doing? They're doing okay right now. I was looking at these are 100% hiking boots. But these combat boots seem to be doing pretty well for us right now. No, that's just a filing cabinet. I presume this just comes out on the other side of... No? Well, alrighty then. Whoop, there's multiples of you. You didn't tell your friend to come over here and, and say hi? Okay, then. What do we got left for ammo? Unpack for that. Okay, let's go ahead and unpack another box. Could could you just put 
the stuff back where it was, please? Paper, I know you guys have said that I can use that for um, making shotgun shells. Um, I can use it for making, like, the Chinese lanterns for the base. And I can use it as, like, rolling paper for tobacco and cannabis in this, but... I don't really have a use for either of those things, and right now I'm not really planning on crafting shotgun ammo. From the standpoint of we find so freaking much ammo right now that there's really not a whole lot of point to it. Ooh, combat helmet. There we go. Combat helmet valuable. Oh, just mobile phone. Okay. What are the mobile phones themselves for? Ooh. Ooh, and a backpack. Her. Hmm. Mm hmm. You can fit right here, can't you? Yes, you can. Fantastic. Hmm. Hmm. Problem is, I don't really have a good way to carry that backpack at the moment. Anybody else in here? No? Okay, fantastic. Ooh, there's vending machines. Do you have any food? Nothing. Fair enough. Now. Ooh, okay, good. We have a nice little isolated hallway here. Fantastic. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that back. Because I don't know if we're gonna have puppets... Having respawned. Most likely we will. Be nice if we didn't, because they're not supposed to, but you know. Hello? They actually didn't? Well, that's nice. Okay, uh, okay, and so we went that way and went all the way around to there. Okie dokie. So we still got that way to search, which should come out over there. That way goes to nothing. And then we have these two things to search here. Which I think... I don't even remember. Do those actually go to medical stuff, or... Do they just go to, like, the lower levels of the theater... Not theater, but uh, the big conference room thing. I don't remember. Either way, I will see you guys when I get back down here after unloading some of this stuff. Okay, and we're back in here now, and we're going to see if the puppets have respawned. I'm kind of hoping not, since we parked the truck right outside the bunker, not outside the fence, so we didn't technically leave the area. So I'm hoping that they didn't respawn. I guess we'll find out. Hello? I don't see any. Huzzah! Maybe that means we actually have the respawn settings... ...correct now? That would be lovely. 
Okay, so we searched through there. There's nothing that away. to Mr. Happy I need to worry about, but there we go. That it? No other Mr. Happy? I thought I heard two, but maybe not. I'm fine with not having two Mr. Happies. In fact, I would prefer that, but you know don't always get what I want. Also, why is, like, none of the alcohol is valuable? At least none of it that I've found. Like, the best that I've gotten is like 180 bucks for a bottle. Ooh, are those cleaner under, those are cleaner underpants. They don't look great, but they're cleaner than our current ones. Our current ones are pretty pretty gnarly. We're we're just gonna get rid of those. Ah feels so nice having clean underpants on. I mean, our calories are still going up, but not by a tremendous amount. And see, our dexterity is still improving. We're still losing weight. Sort of. Okay, well, I mean, we're not... Mm, that is causing us to slow down on the on all of that what I was going to do is eat this here chocolate bar but that gives us a lot of calories it does give us some fiber surprisingly you know what screw it I want the chocolate how are you doing okay we need to take another drink from one of these garbage canteens thanks okay we good now fantastic really don't need the boxes of bolts and nails and stuff I checked that already Okay, nobody right there at the moment. I presume the pitchfork is something usable with the garden. I mean, I would presume you could also use it as a melee weapon. Now, I do also still have our AK in the truck. If we need to switch to that. But I wanted to try running something a little bit different. You know... Because, I mean, the AK is great. I really like it a lot. But... 
feel like we need we need to try something a little different every now and then. Like I'm I'm debating about switching back to like maybe one of the revolvers or something for our sidearm. Yeah, you can't suppress them, which is horribly unfortunate. Yay, money! It's like literally just finding money lying around. I still need to run like the UMP 45. Oh crap, that was something I was actually going to try to get. Ooh, that's useful. Um. I meant to actually get that at the trader was the MP5 SD, but since I didn't do that, maybe, maybe we can find us one here in this bunker. Yeah, that would be nice. I, I would, I would like to find one of those rather than having to buy it. Now, I I haven't tried to sell any of the batteries, so I don't know if they're valuable or not. I would think to some degree they would be, but I do not know. Activated charcoal. I, I can't remember if the art activated charcoal sells well or not. I'm thinking it does. Painkillers, you sell really well. Thank you. Money, I like. Okay, let's leave these open. It That may be stupid. But we're gonna leave them open. We have tons of wire. I just want to leave those open so I know where I have searched already. Yeah, not really going to find much in these. Ooh, a toolkit. We we have so many of those right now. Now, uh, how much room do you take up? Not a tremendous amount. If we need to, we can drop it. thread, I will always take thread. Whoop. I do like the bolt-action rifles. Yes, they're not practical. But they are kind of nice. They do pack a decent punch. Ooh, almonds I will take. Almonds, what do they give you? Yeah, almonds are another great source of vitamin E. Handful of almonds, vitamin E is topped up. And they actually have a reasonable amount of fiber if memory serves. Let's see, I didn't check this one, did I? No. It doesn't matter, there's nothing in it. Okay, we're only down one round. Perfect. Yeah, I do just, I like running these bolt actions for some reason. Is there somebody in there? Doesn't look like it. How about this one?
Nope, both of them are clear. Fantastic. Stuff? Ah, just vitamins. That's okay, we'll take them. Now, um... My original plan for this episode was actually going to be taking the SVD out, maybe to the airfield, and, and try playing with it some, see what it can do. But that was before I decided to come to the traders. Ooh, oh... I want to pick those up because there's always the possibility that we could go back to the irradiated city. It's highly unlikely because there's no real reason to go back there for me. Yes, I know if you check out the nuclear plant, you can get um, depleted uranium. But I don't really see the need for that. You need that for crafting armor-piercing ammunition. Is there anything else that you can do with it? Ooh, I'll take the lockpick. Yay, money! I like money. Painkillers are money. Painkillers are basically worth their weight in gold. I don't know about the burn shell. The fact that you don't find it very often makes me think that it's probably valuable. Hmm. And I'm sorry if you can hear me yawning. I said it has been a long couple of days. And I actually got... I didn't get started recording until about 10.30 tonight. Normally I try to start recording at, like, uh, 7, 8 maybe. So that way I've got time to record and edit and still get to bed at a decent time. But that's not going to happen tonight. No, we're going to be up for a good while. It's probably going to be pretty easily 2 a.m. Before I'm done editing this video. Which is unfortunate. Well, it helps if you actually hit them. I've noticed that. it they, they tend to die better if you actually hit them. You know... I think that must be a bug. Hey, yeah, combat... Am I still... I'm still wearing the other one. That's fine. Damn it, I had fully intended to take that off. And put it in the truck. Whoop. Hey, see, look at that. They actually die when you hit them. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm pretty sure that's got to be a bug. Why do you have to actually hit the puppets? To kill them. You know... Shouldn't it be you just fire your gun in some random direction and it'll kill whatever puppets are in the general vicinity? That, that seems like how it's supposed to be. But no, I actually have to aim and, and hit things with my bullets. That, that seems rather unfair. 
I think the devs need to fix that. that that's a game-breaking bug. I don't remember if the M9 flashlights are valuable or not. Can I attach the M9 flashlights to, like, the MP5s? I cannot remember. Hey, I can fit you right there. Fantastic. Terrific. Oh, cargo drop. Okay, well, that tells you how long I've been going. Ah, uh, we might as well go after the cargo drop. I really wish that in single player you could set it to where the cargo drops are, like, in a random location. You know, or at the very least, like I said, they could be in the next sector away instead of, hey, it's, it's like a hundred yards away from you to where you're pretty much always guaranteed to get it. Oh. Nobody. Okay, good. I'm going to leave that open. We're going to make a quick run down here. I don't know if there's actually anything worth looting down here or anything that we even have room for down here. And I don't need... Ooh. Mm, wait a minute. Are those like the snow camo looking ones? Maybe. I'm not sure on those. I mean, we can take them, I guess. Ooh, I will take that. We have a few of those. That's another gun that I need to run. I I'm really wanting to get better about actually using other guns. So if there's any of them in particular that you guys would like to see, please let me know. Because otherwise I'm just going to kind of go through them in whatever order I feel like using them. Ooh. Ooh, that thar be handy. Uh, do we even have room for... Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, and this is just the outside down here, yeah? Which actually might be faster about getting us back to the truck. Yeah. Maybe. still hear that damn goat. Shut up. No puppets right around here. Okay. Well, I'm going to deal with this inventory real quick and I'll get back to you guys when we start heading for the cargo drop. Okay. Where is that cargo drop? North east. Complete opposite direction. 
Okie dokie, so over yonder ways. Alrighty, and... Oh, well, I want to make sure we don't leave that behind. Also, I like the little smiley face. It's cute. You can't see out of this thing where the crap in first person, though, with this heavy armor. Why can I not get in the freaking truck? <sighs> sure. There we go. But you see, how the hell are you supposed to see out of this? I mean, good lord, you, you cannot drive worth a damn like that. Oh, crap, I can't close that stupid back door. Alright, I know how to fix this. I'm gonna get out and... Realistically, you should be able to just gun the throttle a little bit, and the inertia will close that door, but, you know. <laughs> There's a tree. Also, I still don't know why the hell you cannot armor the front of the vehicles. I get that to some degree they're keeping it to where you can, you know, open the hood and whatnot. But, you know, you could still open the hood... Okay, so it should be off this way. Right? Oh, crap. Right? North, northeast? Yeah, I mean, if we follow this road for a little bit, we'll, we'll kind of, oh, it's up the hill. Okay, yeah, it's it's due east of us, so it's it's literally just up this frickin' hill. Okay, that's fine. I'll be honest, I kind of use the cargo drops as a measure of time for how long I've been recording. <laughs> oh, there it is over there. So, it's usually like when I see the notification for a cargo drop, it's like, oh, okay, we've probably been going long enough. Let's go get the cargo drop and then end the episode. <laughs> okay, well, great. This is a awkward spot. Come on, come get some. There you go. Hey, uh, is there fewer than usual? Kind of seems like there's fewer puppets than usual. Hmm. Oh, no, the rest of you are just up here. I really wish that they would react to noise from further away. You know... It's like you have to be right next to them for them to... even notice that you have a vehicle. Oh, did I actually get the other two? Alright then, anybody else? I still feel like even with, with those it was... Fewer than usual. But also, you can't actually hit them until they know that you're there. Which is why I would like for them to notice the vehicle quicker. You did. Oh, good. Okay, is that everybody now? Wonderful, thank you. Yeah, don't park it right next to the tree. Yay, I should be able to get back in the truck. I can. Look at that. Phenomenal. Eh. 
I know you don't really need to close it, at least not in single player, but I'm going to anyway. Ah, stupid, take the gloves off. Gloves, where are the gloves? That's not gloves. Gloves. No, remove. Thank you. Goodies? Ooh. Well, uh, we, we'll, we'll take us an AK. We already have one. But that's okay. We'll take us another one. I, I guess we'll take those. I don't know how much those are worth. Now, of the AKs, which one do you guys like the best? I I'm actually getting really partial to that AK-15. The, the problem with it is it can't use regular AK magazines. Which means it also cannot use the... Um, the RPK drums, unfortunately. Now, it's not a huge deal, but that is a nice... I don't have room for you. You know what? I'll, I'll get you in a minute. But like the regular AK-47, like what we just uh, picked up... Mm, excuse me. Has the folding stock so that you can put it in a backpack much easier. The AKM has just the plain wood stock, so you can't really do anything with it, but it can still hold a bayonet and use the RPK drum magazines, but you have to have the rail for it to take optics, which kind of sucks. But... I do like the way that that one looks. And then the AK-15 is the more modernized tactical version that already has the built-in rail, which is quite handy. How about you go in here? And I'll deal with the rest of the inventory later. Let's get the truck away from here. Because I want to get the truck back to the bunker. And then next episode, I'll finish looting the bunker. Or if you guys don't want to see me do the bunker, um, let me know in the comments and I'll just do that off camera. I have no idea if I'm... Okay, yeah, this is the right direction. Down the hill! Just don't wreck the truck, please. Uh, yeah, do not roll the truck down the hill, please. Yeah, yeah. And don't hit the tree stump. Did I go the wrong direction? No, we we turn at this at the houses here, right? Yeah, because the bunker's right up here. Okie dokie. Wonderful. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and cut it here then. This should be a safe enough spot to get out and do an outro. Anyways. Um, yeah, we're going to call the episode here. Um, let me know if you guys want to see me finish raiding this bunker. And again, let me know if there's any particular weapons you would like to see. Because we have most of them. And we can get enough money to buy the ones that we don't have. If there's anything that you guys would like to see in particular. 
Um, also, again, let me know if either Days Gone or State of Decay 2 are anything that you guys would like to see, or if you have a preference between the two. Um, those are just the two that I'm feeling right now. I'm, like I said, the other options currently are Sons of the Forest and, uh, Mist Survival. But, uh, Days Gone is just, it's, it's one of my favorite games. I played it on PlayStation. And it's actually what got me more into riding motorcycles. I already had a motorcycle, but after playing Days Gone, I ended up buying a, a different motorcycle. And, uh, yeah, I've just, I've gotten a lot more into riding motorcycles since playing Days Gone. And obviously that one would be a story-based series. It would just be going through the story of Days Gone. Um, whereas State of Decay 2, I believe, has a story mode, but it also has a sandbox mode. And for those of you that don't know what State of Decay is, it's very similar to Project Zomboid in that it's basically a post-zombie outbreak open-world survival game where... You can go around, you can recruit NPCs, um, you can fortify a base location, and you can, like, assign your NPCs different tasks and whatnot. You can send your NPCs out on missions, you can have, you know, some of them tag along with you on whatever missions you're gonna do, um, there's vehicles to use, there's, it, it's heavily focused around base building, but also going out and looting, you know, gathering resources, fighting zombies, that kind of thing. So, like I said, it's, it's very much like Project Zomboid, but it's kind of like if you combine Project Zomboid and Scum together. And so, I, I've played the first one, I have not played the second one, so I'm looking forward to playing the second one. Um, but for those of you that like Project Zomboid and also like Scum, you would probably really like State of Decay. I'm guessing. But State of Decay is the game that got me into the open-world zombie survival games many years ago when I played it on Xbox. Uh, but anyway, let me know if either of those sounds interesting to you or if you have any preference. And uh, other than that, I guess that's about it. Um... So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Again, I'm sorry that I didn't get a video up yesterday. Uh, we've just had a lot of crap going on. And uh, I just I did not have time to do it. By the time I got done messing with the plumbing yesterday, I did not feel like recording a video at all. I didn't really feel like recording this one tonight just because of how late it is. But... I wanted to get a video out, so, um, anyway, I'll, I'll stop rambling now, but thank you guys again so much for watching the videos, and thank you for the continued support on the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.